Welcome back. In the first video of this series, we learned how to record a video using Loom. In this video, we are going to learn how to take that recorded video and place it within Canvas. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you now have a successful Loom recording under your belt, and it is time to take that video and to put it into Canvas. Let's look at the options that you have. You can see that I'm in my Loom personal library, and I have a number of videos. I'm just going to choose this example that I recorded just a few moments ago. And if I click there, I do have the ability to copy the link, and I could copy the link and share it to students through Canvas, and that would be an okay option. I would know how often the video has been watched, and that's a nice feature. However, I think it's probably better that students actually watch the video within Canvas as opposed to having to go externally and try to watch it through Loom and log in through Loom. That could cause a lot of problems. So here's the recommended procedure. Let's go to download and we're going to download the video. And it will take a little bit of time depending on how large the file is obviously. And you will either be prompted where you would like to save your download or it will go automatically into your downloads folder. So I'm just going to call this example for Canvas. And notice it is saved in my downloads folder right here. So I'm going to click save and it will store in my downloads bar right here. So if I have the downloads bar open and I navigate over to Canvas, I can then navigate to the course where I would like to play the video or place the video rather. So I'm just going to use my demo course and any place that I can access the rich content editor. I'm just going to use a page for example, but it could be an assignment, it could be a discussion, it could be a classic quiz, it could be any place that you can access the rich content editor. And again, if you're not familiar, this is the rich content editor right here. And all I have to do at this point is to choose the option to upload or record media. And I'm going to drag the file that I just saved and I'm going to hit submit. And it will take a little bit of time for that video to load, uh, but the video will then be stored within Canvas. Students won't have to go to Loom. They won't have to try to log into Loom. They'll just be able to watch your video directly from Canvas. So again, it may take a little bit of time for that video to load. Obviously, the longer the video, the longer the time it will take. And then you can click Save or Save and Publish, depending on the type of resource that you are creating and how you're creating that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. I do have to give it a title, of course. And this is what students would see. They would see my Loom recorded video. They would never have to leave Canvas in order to access that, and they could still go full screen. So that's how you take a video recorded on Loom and place it in Canvas. I hope you were able to use these two powerful tools together to reach your students in ways that you never thought were possible with virtual learning. If you have any questions, please let me know.